action. There was a young man from Sway who decided to sail to China one day. He was tied to the tiller with a sex-mad gorilla, and China's a very long way. Tony, when you said that, that I fan did I fancy a day out, this is not what I thought you meant. <laughs> but th this is a script from The Slugs Invade. Do you remember that, Ange? Yeah, running away from CGI giant slugs. <laughs> oh, Chris Wilkes had to swim in the, uh, what was it, the Arctic Sea or something. <laughs> this is a nostalgic little visit somewhere, <laughs> nice you said. Ah. A chance to catch up on memory, memories. And it was the River Hamble in the winter. Well, this is nostalgic. I mean, look at this retro blaster. Hey, I remember charging around as a guard with this beast. Doesn't suit you with a big weapon in your hands. Come on, Ange. I mean, it'll be fun. Just doing a few clips from the old uh, Beacon basement. It'll be fun. Yeah, sure. I fancied an afternoon stuck in a musty, smelly old cellar, laughing at the poor misfortunes of others. What do you mean others? How do you know we aren't going to be in some of these bloopers? Not a chance. True pro me. Ooh. Never miss a line on camera. <laughs> Nan's been asking after you. I told him. I told. I told her that she was. Let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> she have a sex <laughs> I told him. I told you. I told everyone except her. Appearances can be deceptive, Jenny. It's full. Jean. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. Wait, why didn't you change your name? <laughs> you're doing here, Sarah, Sue, and Anne. <laughs> Keep recording, it's Beacon um. Falls <laughs> What, sorry? Was I supposed to feed the line again? No, I, I oh, thought you were sorry. going on. Oh, yeah, apparently it's another assignment, pregnant pauses. <laughs> <laughs> Have no trust in our legal system, Mr. Lip. No, Brown. Brown. Oh, Brown. Sorry, sorry. Brown. However good his intentions, I have a sense of impending doom. <laughs> doom. doom. You're trying to get close to him, so he'll leave me for you. Well, it's not going to work. So keep your hands to yourself. Oh my God, Stacy, I think you've got the wrong line. <laughs> Nan called. She's asking after you. And I've no freaking idea <laughs> what she said. <laughs> well, I think this is going to be fun. I mean, hello guys and gals. It's Tony and Angie Goddard here with another selection of outtakes from Beacon Basement. Yeah, oh. She got the ump now. Never mind. She'll soon get over it. And it does mean that I can do all the talking. Right, now. <laughs> It's been great looking through the old props, and uh, of course, over the years, some people have had terrible trouble with props.
admit this story's got a real hook. <laughs> Download navigation coordinates to VSS1. Affirmative. Sending coordinates now. <laughs> Sorry! You caught the light. Two, one, action. It's not true, is it, David? Yeah, I'm afraid it is. <laughs> <laughs> It's because the sugar, I'm not making an excuse, but the sugar is stuck oh, to the yeah. side. How long has that sugar been in there? <laughs> no, somebody's put a wet spoon. Out the door. Hope you could clap it for us. Episode 1, scene 9. Yeah, no wind until we come out here again. I think he <laughs> fell on the actual thing. No, it was on the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's got to hurt. I hope Beacon are up to date with their insurance payments. But I tell you what, they never spent money on cake. Oh no. And the crew, oh they're a tight bunch. And they got a very weird sense of humour. I mean, just look at these candles on this surprise cake they gave to the birthday girl, Lorinda. And action. I know. I know. Oh, oh, <laughs> <Ow. Sorry. laughs> oh, that'll teach him not to sniff the clapperboard. Oh, look, a neighbour's script. I used to like these. <laughs> they made me laugh. Laughter is supposed to be good for you. So uh, perhaps we'll see what the next bunch of giggles and laughter has to do. Perhaps a day with Beacon is good for your health after all. Maybe a little bit more. Oh. <laughs> no, <Nah>, good. <Yeah. laughs> no, that. Have a look, please. Right, okay, back, back. I think all with a ball puck. Then do it. John, is that a script on the table? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just kick me. <laughs> 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 right, okay, come back. Last time then. Right. Seeing those clips from the 80 degree cafe scene, I mean, that reminds me of the tongue twisters that poor Sue Sam's had to deal with. Ah, some balance at last in this programme. It's not just me that gets my... Wacking fault and a mucking fuddle? <clears throat> oh, and you're talking to me now, are you? Ooh. Well, I did, until I found out he didn't work for a reputable company. Reputable, even. Is it which one is it? I don't know which one. The second one. Things may have escalated to a shit-mattering 
<laughs> you liked him, dear? <laughs> well, I did. That's when I thought he was working for a reputable, reputable. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> you can't be wrong. Saucer of milk from Mr. Brooks. You right, John? <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Hang Chris on. is turning into a little bitch, so we have to do this quickly. <laughs> Love the way you use present tense. And <laughs> 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 Him, dear. That's when I thought he worked for a reputable company. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. One more, one more. I've got it now. I've got it now. I've got it now. I've got it now. Three of us having it in tippy cups and mummy having it in a, go in a, in a goring bone ups cup. <laughs> <laughs> bone ups? A goring bone up. A goring bone ups cup. Okay, it's right. It's not even your close ups. I know, that's why I just carried yeah, on. Repeat. I saw him in the high street working for that tacky shoe shop. Shop. Sorry. Well, we all get days like that, don't we? When we wish we'd stayed in bed. Don't know what poor Hannah Woods had been up to the night before, but she certainly should have stayed at home. You think that you've helped Lewis out by stopping him from moving all these boxes? As a matter of fact, I think you've thrown him right in it. Thrown him right in it? Or dropped him right in it? <laughs> <laughs> Kicked him right in it? Okay, Sorry. Right what are you even on about? Don't think I don't know what you've been up to. I've had my eye on you. I've seen what you've been doing with him. Lucy, I don't even know what you're talking about. Lucy? <laughs> <Stacey>. <laughs> Sorry. You Just do that pass. again. Chris, is he love? I know you said the morning stuff. Stuff. <sighs> Can we go that one again? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she was going to do that, that's why I missed it. Alright, we've got it on, that's good. That's a lot of people miles. Sorry. Three, two, one. That's tasted like vodka. <laughs> <laughs> we've also got that as well. That's <laughs> right. Okay, compose and. God knows what else she was doing. Got <laughs> 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 runny nose. That from being cold is her herbal tea. She picked the wrong drink to give up waking. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Here are some more clips with a lot more drunks and a cup that won't smash. Okay. And three, two, one. Bell <laughs> 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 Frell was with Stephen. Uh, yes. The problem is that the bottom of my script is lower on the Kindle and I can't scroll up. <laughs> Yes, he ah, yes he is. Um, but I oh, and now I can't <laughs> read the <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> I actually like to finish thinking about that. That was quite funny for you. Three, <sighs> two, one, and action. Potier, I will not Bang! <laughs> Sorry, I just One of the most pressurised blunders with a prop occurred on Beacon's Nonsense second series. Oh dear, they didn't put Steve in charge of it, did they? Ah, well, here's the scene, you see. You had, it was hilarious, four of the contestants running around the garden dressed as sumo wrestlers. <laughs> they each carried a jug full of liquid, different colours for their particular team. Now, it's neck to neck, 
and Steve has got to do the final measure. All eyes on him. Oh, I'm not sure which is most painful, the cock up with the jugs or the total collapse of the host. Oh. <laughs> anyway, after 50 years of marriage, I can't stay the cross with Tony for very long. It has been great catching up on old times. Yeah, they've asked us to take, get three of our favourite outtakes from 30 plus years of Beacon. 30 out of thousands. We hope you enjoy them. Bye for now. Adios, Adios amigos. amigos. Ah! <laughs> oh, <Daisy. laughs> oh, it's so salt. Oh, oh, that's in a blue one. <laughs> Stay on the side. <laughs> <laughs> right, hang on. Your generation <laughs> Now what we have here is a rare breed of who should be I'll tell you what, they never uh, spent the money on cake. And the the uh, 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 uh. <laughs> That's the next beak of face with Okay. Right, we'll, we'll do, do that again, again, I think. <laughs> well, so, you can talk if you like. <laughs> <laughs> it's been really good catching up on old times. Would you like to talk now? Oh, bollocks. <laughs> <laughs>